Hey Yard Fanatics, welcome back to Bermuda Grass Central. It's October the 30th. Um, getting ready for uh, Halloween. I was about to say Christmas. Getting ready for Halloween. Um, just, just a brief update video for guys who want to know um, what should I mean, what should you be doing right now with your Bermuda lawn? Um, and it's right now it's fall. So let's, let me just show you a couple of a couple of things. Okay, you yard fanatics. If you see, this is my Bermuda lawn, and right now um, it's, it has that going to dormancy look. You see a little green in it, uh, mostly that brown, and what you don't see are weeds. You don't see any weeds in this lawn. That means I've been taking care of it. Um, I have maybe one or two, um, and, and if you follow my videos, I hit one right here. I don't know if you can see it. That's kind of like that edge. Look at it. See it going up. See it? Okay. Remember what I said. I wanted you to treat those spots. Don't pull them up. Spray it with the Prodiamine weed kill mix. Do understand that the cooler temperatures that your weed kill will not be as effective. Um, you will see real slow response from it. So, still do what I said. Um, right now, this is how your lawn should be looking. Some of you guys, if you have some greenness, it'll probably be right down the edge from the heat, from the concrete still generating towards the uh, grass. But overall, you should start to see some brown. Uh, should you be cutting your Bermuda lawn now? Best answer for that is you should be mowing up on top of it, but basically all you'll be doing is getting up leaves, uh, that pine straw from your pine trees, uh, but we should not be cutting any off of it. Uh, right now you should be three inches or lower on your Bermuda lawn. And if you are above three inches, um, I suggested that you take off one third of the blade until you get to three or two inches once a week. Don't try to do it all in the same week. Once a week, cut a little bit off. That's if you're above three inches. Now I did have some guys asking me, why are you, um, why is it, you don't have any grass around the board? Okay, let me show you something. From there on down, I mean, all from that line all the way over is the grass that I planted and it took it one season. All right. That brownness, remember, Bermuda grass does not like shade. So, where you see no grass, that's where my shade line reaches. That's as far as my Bermuda will actually go. One thing I can do is cut back all that brush and then my grass will start spreading down. But generally, that's where it's gonna stop out, stop at. Now, what I could do is actually till all of this up right here. Uh, plant me some hedges, low growing hedges that love shade. Put them there with pine straw, or I can actually go buy some sod, till all that up, lay my sod on top of it, and hope that it takes some stage. Man, I do have some some varieties of Bermuda that are a little bit more shade tolerant, but generally the straight up common Bermuda grass does not like shade. You can see it all the way around. Now, right there is where the sod is laid. And right along that border is thin, but if you can see this part up here, I actually cut back all that. It used to look like that. I cut back all that men BD, um, BYD Junior so we can allow some sunlight to get in to that area to help this grass up in here. Okay, now if you don't have a little compost pile or a pile area where you dump your um, lawn clippings, I suggest you find one. This is at the back of my property. Normally, that area gets up to like two feet, but you can see it decomposes. And this is where I dump all my leaves, um, all my grass clippings, 
Um, and if you have grass with a lot of weeds and you've been bagging it up, you do not want to reuse that or uh, compost it. So overall, that's how your Bermuda lawn should be looking during the fall. Uh, no weeds, kind of a haze over it. Getting ready to go brown. What did I do to prep mine for fall? Once again, put down the prodiamine, put down some um, my last application of fertilizer was actually milorganite. Um, we also put down uh, some gypsum. I have a video for that also. And generally that's it. There's nothing else to do. The grass is going to sleep. And we're just gonna wait for this thing to start that popping. Hopefully in April. Uh, we'll start working on it in March. Try to bring that bonus a tad bit earlier. But um, generally that's it. Now let me show you one more other thing. Now like I said, fall is a great time to start cutting back your hedges, your bushes, your trees. Like I said, this is the area me and BYD Junior went in. It took us like half a day. We cut all that stuff out. You can see behind it, it used to be proud like that, but we cut it all out to allow sunlight to reach that part over there to help that Bermuda grass. Remember, Bermuda grass love sun. All right, right here, we're gonna cut that tree limb off. And if you can walk down here with me, I hope I don't fall and hurt myself. But I'm working my way to another area that we're gonna work on during the fall, hopefully. Um, you see, we cleared this area out. Our plan is to go all the way down through here and create three feet from this gate over those trees that are getting right near the gate I'm gonna cut those up use them as firewood for next season but me and my help Jarvis the temporary part-time uh, BYD tech we're gonna go down through here clear that out hopefully it should take us about maybe six or seven hours to get that done by clearing that out we're still gonna allow a little bit more light to try to reach over to the lawn area <clears throat> but we're not going to clear it out as much <clears throat> as we're doing excuse me as we did this area here um because i still want my privacy i don't have a gate I have neighbors behind me so i'm not going to clear none of that out but i do want to make sure i get that stuff cleared out by that gate so we don't have trees eventually busting up the gate and i have to re replace and repair that so just remember, you're tuned into Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. This is Michael Bowman, and I'll talk to you soon.